Yeah, so here we are. Uh, as you can see, it is quite figure hugging on me. Um, not as tight as a couple of us that are coming up, so that'll be even worse. I'm sorry that the, my body is disgusting to everyone. <laughs> I said I'd stop dwelling on it. I'm going to stop. I'm going to not be negative about myself. Anyway, but yeah, as you can see, um, you might be able to see the badges closer up now I'm wearing it. But yeah, it feels, like I said, it feels nice on the arms. I work hard at the gym on my arms. I, I'm trying to work more on the belly and cardio as well, but it makes my arms feel, you know, it makes my arms look better than they are. But yeah, so like I said, you've got the, where is it? It's here in it. You got the pattern on here. Um, it feels like I said, it feels like a normal football shirt, like most of these do. Like I said, they're getting a lot better now at replicating them. But um, let me know in the comments section as well when I do these videos. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see. Um, I will show you the tanks in any of them. My dog unfortunately chewed one of the tanks on one of the shirts, um, and there's a lot of the times when I put the shirt on because the tag irritates me, I yank it out. Or put it out basically. Um, so some of them might not have the tags, but the tags look like literally like you bought one from Adidas Nike store. Um, they look like legit tags as well. Obviously, when you scan them, they're not. But um, to bear that in mind, obviously, if, if you watch this video, these are not authentic shirts. I am not. Um, this is this is a disclaimer. Basically, I'm not endorsing the, the the guy. I'm not in partnership with him. I'm not making any money from doing this video. It's simply a review video to give my honest opinion of these shirts. If they were rubbish, I'd tell them straight they're rubbish, and, and that's it. That's why I don't. I've had one or two offers already about people giving me free shirts to review them. I'm not, not doing it out of principle. So, um, well, I, I said I'd do it, but I said I'd be honest about the shirts. Um, and, and that and, that, and uh, one or two of them weren't happy about that. They wanted me to basically just big them up. I'm not going to big up if the shirts are rubbish. You, you know, you can't polish a turd at the end of the day. But anyway, like I said, um, quite figure hugging. I think these these are the fans editions of this shirt. I did ask this morning. Um, the player versions are a lot tighter. So when you're ordering shirts, um, first of all, when you're ordering these fake shirts, order two sizes bigger than you are just to be on the safe side. So I'm normally a 4XL or 3XL if I'm lucky. Uh, I've got a Man United shirt that's a 3XL. fits me lovely. So I'm used, if I'm buying shirts like this, I need 5 or 6XL. So if you're, say, a large, go for a 2XL and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But... You know, if you like the tight look, if you haven't got a massive belly like me, then these will probably be all right. But I like my shirts to be a little bit baggier than this because I'm a bit self-conscious of my body, as you know from the previous video and this one. So, yeah. So, anyway, right. That's the end of this part. And then I'll be back in a minute with a beautiful shirt coming up. Absolutely beautiful shirt. So, just bear with me. I'm back in a sec. Right. So, this next shirt is absolutely beautiful. I've been wanting this shirt for a, for a while now. Um, it's an IAC shirt. It's a tribute to Bob Marley, I think. I could be completely wrong. Uh, oh, apparently this is slim fit, so as well on here, according to this on the label here. I'll show you that, the inside. Um, sorry, I can't see it when I'm showing you on the camera. Oh, for God's sake, you can't see that. You can't really see that, can you? Uh, anyway, sorry. Right. Anyway, I'm not very good at these type of things. Right. I used to sell clothes for a living for the last couple of years as well. you think I'd be better at this, but yeah. Anyway, right, here it is. It's the beautiful tribute shirt to Bob Marley. Oh, my God, I'm doing it again. I need to stand up and do this. Look at that. What a beautiful shirt that is. That's definitely a Sunday shirt, that is. Um, and then on the back, you've got this beautiful lion as well. I recently watched that Bob Marley film, um, so I've kind of learned a bit more about it. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice shirt. Um, can you see this now? No, I'm standing up. Uh, you just gonna have to take my word for it. But anyway, but yeah, the badge is embroidered on, and same with the Adidas. As you see, looks looks exactly the same as the legit shirt. Probably, um, I got told that these are literally ninety nine percent as good as the authentic ones, and you don't need, you'd have to be a right expert to see the difference um reggae beats and then that there and then i think is there another bit on the side you got an x there and then i'm here on the other cuff oh for god's sake um that's better you got the man himself 
I'm not doing this justice, by the way. There you go, that's better. But if you want to have a look, have a look for the, just type in Bob Marley IX shirt, and then you can have a look at all the images on there as well, because it looks literally the same. And this one's got a tag in as well. So it's like legit looking IX Adidas tag. Um, you got stuff in there as well where it sells you. So like I said, and then on there, um, if you want, you can scan that barcode just to prove that it is fake. If you get a barcode scanner, it will, it will come up with a, a different shirt than this one. But look at that. Such a beautiful shirt. This is one of my favourite shirts I've ever had. I like I like shirts that look different. I like bright shirts. Vibrant. And obviously it's black as well. So it's black, but it's got loads of colour on it. Um, my girlfriend's already said that this shirt doesn't fit me. She's having it because she's a big Bob Marley fan as well. But right. See you in a sec. I'm just going to put it on and show you. I'm going to do the rest of the video standing up. I'm not going to be a lazy bugger. But anyway, this shirt's pretty good because it doesn't look as obvious that it's tight on me. It doesn't feel as tight as the England one did. It feels quite nice. I could wear this and wouldn't be as self-conscious. Don't get me wrong. It's still sort of obvious there that it's too tight. But it's not It's not too bad. Like I said, I'm not going to complain too much. But uh, yeah, there's the... There's that one badge of the, yeah, close it up a bit. Club badge, and then you've got Adidas, and then you've got, um, Reggae Beats, and then you've got the man himself, and then on the back, you've got the, the line as well. But yeah, like I said, this is my favourite one out of the lot, I think. Uh, I quite like this Man United, new Man United, maybe blue away one that I'm get uh, that I'm going to show you in a minute um it's quite good and it feels doesn't feel as tight um as the others it's quite nice but yeah so like I said um I'll be back in a sec with the next part of the episode right so the next one up here is the Newcastle shirt I don't know if it's this season's or last season's I can't remember um but yeah it's like I said I'll show I'll do a close up of the badges again these are both embroidered on this one is stuck on. So with these shirts, I just want to make sure that you know how to wash these. I have a hand wash them. Um, some washing machines have a hand wash function on there. Do that. Or um, what you need to do is turn in, turn them inside out, put them in a quick wash, and then dry them on the line. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculously hot at the moment. You could easily wash these, and they'll all be dry within an hour if you put them. Um, like my, my girlfriend's got a conservatory, so and it's roasted in there. Um, so yeah, so like I said, a lot of the times we just put that clothes out in the conservatory. And there's the other badge on the back there. Um, you got the tat. Uh, that might be easy for you to see. Not the best, like I said, at doing camera angles, but you know it says four XL. Obviously, it won't be. There's the tags on there as well. If you want to scan that, to double check. Um. So yeah. So here it is on me. Um, I think I'm quite lucky with the Adidas ones because they stretch quite a bit, so they don't feel they don't feel as tight on me as the other ones. Um, but yeah, there's a close up of the badges there. Be really careful. Do not put these shirts in the tumble dryer or on a heat wash because this will come off, and the shirt and these will basically probably come off after a while as well. So yeah, just um, Google how to wash fake football shirts. Um, there's plenty of probably guides on there, but yeah, basically just put it on a quick wash, 15 minutes, have the shirts inside out, put them out on the line, don't put them in the tumble dryer, or if you want it, and if you can hand wash it, probably better to hand wash it as well. Um, but yeah, it feels nice. Um, there's a badge there, noon. But yeah, like I said, it feels like, it feels like a normal football shirt that you'd wear, up the Geordies. So, right, next part coming up in a sec. So this one is the first of two AC Milan shirts. I can't remember. One of them doesn't fit me. It's way too tight. And then one fits me okay. So I think this one's the, fit, the one that fits me okay. But yeah, as you can see, you can already see the tags. So I don't need to show you them. But yeah, embroidered on the badges, as you can see here. And then you've got this Emirates Fly Better. It feels quite stable on here, but I wouldn't risk it. Um, and then you've got AC Milan, such a beautiful. They always do beautiful kits as far as I'm concerned. I mean, the lettering might be slightly off on that. That A there doesn't doesn't look very good, does it? But other than that, you can't.
can't really complain. Now this one's a Puma. Um, this one's a plastic thing. I think I'll take that off. Yeah, I should have kept it on. You would have been able to read it, but yeah. Um, is there anything on there? You've got the Puma on the sleeve on this side. Um, got the MSC sponsor uh, logo there as well. Is there anything on the bottom? you got Wee Fox on the back there. And then, um, like I said, you got the tags here. Puma, if you want to scan that, feel free. Got the badge here. Information on there. Um, I think that's it, really. Um, set this up as a plastic covering on here as well. So you got this as well. It says authentic, which is quite funny. Um, but yeah, let's see what it looks. Let's, what, let's see what it feels like. Yeah, so this one is tight, but it doesn't. It's not unbearably tight. I, I don't have much luck with Puma shirts as it is anyway, even the authentic ones. But this one feels all right. It doesn't. Um, like I said, eventually the more weight I lose, these will feel better on me because obviously I'll have less of a gut. I am working hard as we speak. I've done ten thousand over ten thousand steps every day this week so far. I'm drinking water. I'm trying not to eat any too much sugary stuff. I've got an app called My Fitness Pal, and I'm putting everything in there, so I'm making myself accountable and not pretending I'm hiding things. Um, and then obviously, if I go too far, I rein it in on the day. So um, basically, today I had a bag of Haribo and a can of energy drink when I walked back from the gym. So um, what I did is because I think I nearly hit all my sugar, my limit. Because um, basically, if I'm trying to lose weight, it sets um, targets and it also tells you the max you can have on each thing. So I've already, literally that bag of Harry Bro and the energy drink basically took all of my sugar for the day. So my daily my daily amount of sugar I'm allowed, there you go. I couldn't get the words out. I couldn't get the words in here. So basically, um, so to the rest of the day, I'm not able to eat anything sugary. Um, I've been pretty good, to be honest. It's not really bothered me. Drinking water really helps with cravings and stuff like that because I'm so used to eating all the time. Um, I've got better with that, but they're still creeping. I sit there and I go, oh, I fancy some chocolate. I don't. I don't need chocolate, I just fancy chocolate. Any fellow fatty, like myself, will understand the struggles that we go through. But yeah, I'm determined to get down to a 2XL because I want to buy loads of more football shirts and I can't because most of them don't have them in my size. Um, so I need to get down to an XL or ideally a large as soon as possible. But the aim is to get to a 2XL from a 4XL and then see how we get on from there. At least if I'm a 2XL, I've got more options for shirts. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm rambling on. Don't want to worry about my life story. You just want to see the shirts. But yeah, thank you, sir. So, yeah, uh, next one coming up. So this AC Milan shirt here is the 125th anniversary shirt. Um, and also what I'm going to do with some of these shirts that don't fit me, um, eventually I'm not going to be in my girlfriend's kitchen. I'm going to be, she's got like a, a spare room, and I'm going to convert that into my streaming slash recording studio and I'll have on the back a backdrop and I'll have a few of these shirts um stuck on or um hooked on by it with a coat hanger, whatever they call them. Um but anyway, right, so this is the AC Milan shirt. Um these obviously is is that one? That one is that one is yeah embroidered on stuck on you know the score. Um you got the MC MCC MC MSC uh, and obviously the Puma there, so it's the same as the other one really. And then on here you've got the cool little 125th anniversary thing. Um, and then on here you've got this little logo here, Social Club Institution, whatever that is. I assume that's the, to do with AC Milan itself. Um, but these are stuck on by the looks of it. I feel like stickers have been stuck on. So again, this is not one for the washing machine. Um, AC Milan tag. Barcode if you want to have a little scan. Um, but yeah, let's see what it feels like. I think this one's really tight me from what I remember. I have tried these all on before I did the video just to make sure. Um, but yeah, we'll be back in a sec. Right, so this one is on me now. It is it is too tight on me. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll show you really. It's a bit depressing. Look at that. Look at the state of that. Um, yeah, anyway, it is way too tight. And by the way, it's bloody hot in it. Oh my god, I have to keep putting these shirts on and then I keep having to have this mask on for the gimmick of my YouTube 
personality. Um, and it's too hot for this and too hot for this. Um, and also my my girlfriend's mom who lives with us, she's got this week off. So I can't just sit around in just my boxers, um, enjoying the breeze. I have to put clothes on. So yeah, it's a bit annoying. But anyway, um, it's nice. Like I said, it, it, it feels like a normal football shirt like the rest of them. Pretty straightforward, really. I, I hope most of these shirts on review don't seem the same, samey, samey. But it's basically the same thing, and I'm just showing you what you can get. But like I said, definitely give him a go. I would recommend him. There's others on that Facebook group I mentioned in the intro. They would recommend him as well. Um, he's really good with communication. And he also went out of his way to message me a couple of days ago when my order was coming just to make sure I was in so I could get the order. Um, and he went out of his way to get in touch with the factory to find out if they had any bigger size than the 4XL. He only had he could only find five shirts, but it's a start at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, I think one's the England shirt. One's the England shirt I showed you at the start. He's got that in a five or six XL. So that one fits me all right actually. But if it's in a bigger size, it'll fit me better. Um, there's a Germany home shirt. There's an England home shirt. There's uh, I think it's Bayern Munich, like a purpley pink one. I can't remember. And then there's another one which I can't remember which one it is now. But I'll order them to them five next week. And let you know. He also as well deliveries really quick. Now I was really surprised by this. So, but even in mind that it's coming from China, I ordered it last start of last week or maybe maybe slightly before that. It might have been the weekend before, but it literally come within about just over a week, or just I think it might have been ten days at the most. I think a lot of people on the Facebook Facebook group have also said that that they've got their shirts within ten days, which is half the time you're probably waiting for other people from China when you're buying fake shirts. So bear that in mind as well, that they are working hard to get you shirts as quickly as possible. Um, so definitely give them a go. The prices are really good as well. I think each shirt costs about about 10 quid each or something like that, plus, the, plus postage. But I don't think postage was that much anyway. I think, I think if anything, I don't even think they... Um, I, don't, I can't remember how much it was in total, but yeah. Anyway, right. Um, I'm rambling on the next shirt. I've got a couple of Inter Miami shirts coming up now, so bear with us two seconds. Right, so here we are. Here's the first of the Inter Miami shirts. Now this one's this one's the current home shirt. Um, I will, I would, I should have got Messi on the back of them, but you know it is what it is. I didn't want to. I got told not to get. Yeah, so that's another thing with these shirts. Um, I got told to probably not a good idea to get a name and number on the back because again, if you do, if you wash them. Then basically they will uh the 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 numbering at the back and that and the letter will come off even in, I think even in a quick wash you've got to be careful but yeah you've got the logos here you've got that one there it's embroidered on that is I think it's embroidered on it feels like it and then obviously that's stuck on but it's a nice shirt I am a man who likes to wear pink um all my mates know me as the guy who likes to wear pink um but yeah. And then you've got the back here, freedom to dream. There you go. Um, and you got that in there, but again, I, I, I think that might, there you go. Might not be able to focus so much on it, but yeah. And then you've got the stripes here as well. It's, it feels like a really nice shirt to wear as well. It feel, the feel of it is different to the other ones I've tried so far. It feels, feels um, it's hard to explain, but it's not. It's like a softer feeling. Might be because it's pink, I don't know. But let's see what it looks like on me. So here it is on me. Um, it's loose because it's Adidas, so it's not as tight as the other shirts are. Um, obviously, it's still not doing me any favours hiding the belly, but it's still nice. Like I said, it feels nice. Um, I'd probably wear this out and about, maybe. Not, not going too far, I'll probably wear it to the gym. Um, but yeah, I think mostly I'm just going to wear these. Most of these shirts I'll wear probably during when I'm doing videos on YouTube. Because I do, for people who don't know, people only watch these videos, I do football manager content and also a wrestling simulation game called TW 2020. So, so I'm a bit out of breath, keep taking shirts and putting them on. Um, yeah, so basically I, I, I thought I can make content with them and then I can wear them when I'm doing the content uh, for football manager as well. So it just gives me different shirts to wear because... 
why not? It's a bit of fun. It doesn't really cost much to buy these shirts. I also buy mystery boxes as well, which I do review video reviews for. Um, there's some already on my channel. There will be more every month. I'll probably buy one or two every month and give them a review. I'm trying different ones, but I might run out eventually, so I might have to go back to the ones I've already tried. Um, surprise shirts is pretty good if you like um, teams that aren't very well known. Um, and then the other ones like mystery jersey jerseys and stuff like they do some mainstream ones i managed to get a bay and eat one from i can't remember which one it was now but that that was i was quite chuffed with that so i weren't expecting that it was last seasons with the stripes but it's a really nice shirt i really like it because red's my favorite color it's a nice shade of red so happy days but um yeah anyway i'll be back in a sec with the next into miami shirt so here's the next one it's a into miami shirt from last year um I love I love this colour scheme, black and pink. It always makes me think of Bret Hart. Um, same with the home shirts, actually. Big, massive fan of Bret Hart. Um, especially when he takes the mick out. Especially when he moans about Bill Goldberg. It's hilarious. He do, 20 years on, he still don't, he, he still don't forget. Uh, definitely watch that Who Killed WCW documentary series. It is, it is really good. And Bret Hart and Goldberg go at each other on that one. So not, not in front of each other, but on camera. They take digs at each other. But yeah. Here's the badges, as you can see, uh, embroidered on, and then you've got the Xbox X, XB20 on, and then on the here, I uh, like the home shirt, you've got Freedom to Dream, um, plastic covering on that, might be able to see that one a little bit better, probably not as good, I don't know why it's not focusing properly, it might be my camera, but yeah, pink stripes, um, and then on the back. I'm trying to see if there's a pattern here that you can see. I'll close up and you can see like the pattern. But you can see from these, they literally look like authentic shirts. They're so bloody good. Um, you wouldn't know. And I see it all the time on eBay, people buying football shirts on eBay and Facebook and stuff like that. And then they ask people, is this legit or fake? And they have to really get like the proper experts on the groups to let them know it's fake and stuff. But obviously the easiest way to tell if a shirt is fake is tag the barcode so basically i bought a what i thought was an authentic home scotland shirt a scotland home shirt last week uh, and i got it and it didn't fit me even though it's 4xl and 4xls would fit me if they were authentic so i thought oh this one's fake i scanned the barcode it came up with a completely different shirt message to the seller um he didn't put anything about it being a replica in the listing or in the description or even on the title he then I then said to I messaged him and said, "Is this a legit shirt or a fake shirt?" And he says, "Oh, it's a fake shirt. That's why it was so cheap." Then he then basically tried to make me feel bad for you know going on about it and that because um, basically I asked to to do the return, and he was like, "Oh, you good luck trying to find a shirt as cheap as twenty quid." I'm like, "Well, I'm not paying twenty quid for a fake shirt when I pay ten quid for a fake shirt. You're not doing me a favor at all." So that got my back up. So I went, do you know what? Instead of just asking for the return, I'm going to get your eBay shop closed because you're not meant to be selling fake shirts on eBay. So basically eBay, they don't sell, they don't let you sell fake goods. I know this because I used to sell clothes on eBay. Um, and that's so I always try, I always had to make sure I was really careful when I was checking the, the stock that I bought from wholesalers to sell. And um, basically, long story short, it went back and forth for me. Then he threatened to come around, uh, come around and get the shirt off me. Basically threatened to try and, threaten me um but he couldn't stop because it takes a, i'm not i don't mean in a big headed way i'm not i'm not like one to get in fights but it takes a lot to um to intimidate me it really doesn't you don't a, a big scary man coming up to me just just doesn't intimidate me at all um so i was just like yeah if you want to come around come around we'll sort it out and then i basically sent all the messages to ebay on facebook messenger and the listing that he sold the shirt on got pulled the shop has been investigated um and hopefully his shop will be closed because i don't have an issue with anybody selling fake shirts i told him i told him straight if you said that was a fake shirt i probably wouldn't have bought it but i wouldn't have been bothered i would have said oh okay that's fine but because he didn't because he didn't put, uh, state it in the listing or anything and sold it and he and that it's not on so i didn't want other people getting conned um because they might thought it's a legit shirt and it's not but yeah anyway i'm rambling on as usual uh, in a sec, I'll see what this looks like on me. Again, because this is an Adidas one, there's a bit more give to it, so it doesn't feel as tight on me. Obviously, it is still tight, as you can see on here, on the tire that I've got as a belly. Um, but it, like I said, it feels nice. It's got a different feel to this one's got a different. Feels different than 
the one I showed you before, um, but not in a bad way. It's not like it doesn't feel like fake. It just feels like this. If this was all, if, if this was the authentic one, it would feel the same. I think. So that's no discredit to the person that I saw that sold me the shirts. Um, but yeah, it's a nice shirt. I like this. And my girlfriend said this one looks nice as well because she's not really into foot. She's not into football at all. She hates football basically. And um. But she likes, whenever I've shown her the shirts that I bought, she liked the, the Bob Marley one, and she liked this one, and she liked the Navy Blue Man United one that I got as well. So, there you go. Um, so I said, well, I can wear the, I can at least wear this one if we're, walk, we're going out and about, um, going to the shops and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm doing this thinking I'm trying to show you, but it just looks like I'm doing pacing across like this, like, in, like a lunatic. But yeah, like I said, look, you know, post up there. I try and do as best I can. Leave a comment um, in the video. If, like I said, if there's a different way you want me to show the shirts, if there's anything extra you want me to show you, anything different, any different angles or whatever, help me out because I'm all new to doing this shirt showing off videos. I'm not as clean cut as um, other ones like other YouTubers and that that do these. So please just help me out, make me a better YouTuber. That's all I ask. I don't care if it's bad, like if it's criticism, because if I learn from it, I can become better. That's what I want. So yeah, right then. On to the next one in a second. Right, so here we are. This is the Inter Miami shirt from last season um, when Messi turned up. Um, it's hard to hold this without this showing everything for some reason. There you go. You can see the stripes, the black stripes on here. Um, I don't think this, I, look, I've got a new laptop and the, uh, not only is the touchpad absolutely ridiculously unpredictable, the, the built-in HD camera, it's supposed to be HD, doesn't look very good. I think my plug-in camera is better, so I might switch over to the next video. Um, but yeah, on the back here, I don't. What's that say? Um, let me read it out. Might be easier. Liberted Paris Sonia. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you think that says. What do you think that says? I think it said Libertad Pose Sonia, but I could be completely wrong. But yeah, nice embroidered own bad. Um, the old school, not old school, but like it's, it's been recently replaced in it. They got rid of the wording now, and it's just the just the logo in here now. This bit here. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else on here I need to show you before I put it on. Tags, aero ready as well. So I think that helps if it is if they use the same technology as the Adidas aero ready. It might mean um. It will fit better on me. Anyway, we'll soon see in a second. Right, so here it is on me. Um, similar to the black one, it's tight, but it's 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 livable. I can I can wear it and, and feel and feel like I'm not suffocating in it, which is fine. It may not be the most flattering shirt on me, but I'm not that bothered. I've got a girlfriend. I don't really care what other people think. Um, I just obviously don't want to wear something that when I'm with her that might might make her. Not embarrassed she's not bothered she she actually likes me being chunky she i genuinely worry if i lose those weights she might lose attraction for me uh when we watch the wrestling the two guys that she fancies in the wrestling are ivar and bronson reed she likes her men chunky um she is a what they call what we used to call a chubby chaser so yeah but yeah like i said perfectly fine fits me perfectly fine what you can see little twill like so uh, I'll do a close up of the badges again just so you can see there. But yeah, I would not, if I bought this on eBay, other than obviously the size, I would know straight away because it being so tight on me that I knew it would be fake. But other than that, if you're small size, if you're like a large, usually a larger in XL, these shirts are perfect for you because you can get a 2XL easily. Every shirt they have is up to 2XL, and then after that, there's not that many in bigger sizes. There is some. I managed to buy 10, and I think there was about five or six more, but not many. So if you're a big guy like me, you're limited. But go on DHgate, search for football shirts. So if you type in football shirt or football jersey and type in 5XL or 6XL, I think that's what I did. And there's quite a few. Try a few out. See how you get on with them. It might be all right. That's what I'm going to start doing. Watch my videos. I'll, I'll help you as I go along. Um... But yeah, also if you want some advice on losing weight, I was 25 stone. I'm down to 22 in the space of 12 months. I'm going to get down to about, hopefully get down to at least 18 stone, maybe less. Hopefully, because even 18 stone is not good. I need to be probably about, ideally about 16 stone, which is about 
six six stone that less than I am now. Um, it doesn't seem like that much, but if you break it down, it is quite a bit. So I'm hoping to lose six stone in the next couple of years. Try and do two stone a year. That's easily to do. At the moment, my aim is to lose a pound a week. You do that, it's 52 pounds. That's about five, that's about five stone in itself. So uh, about four and a half stone. Four and a half stone when I did the calculations. So if I lose four and a half stone in 12 months, I'll be laughing when I'll be already literally there. But it gets harder. The more weight you lose, it gets harder to lose. So, it, you, you know, I've got to, I've got to keep up in my, my game. But anyway, like I said, there you go. Right, that's the end of this one. And now we've got, coming up next, we've got the Man, the rest of these shirts are Man United shirts because I've been a Man United fan. So some of them, a couple of them are retro, a couple of them are new. One of them's from last season. So I'll see you in a sec with the first Man United shirt. Right, so this one is a replica, fake replica of the, I think it was when, it was, when, it was early 80s when, it, when Fergie was in charge, or late 80s, but it's a famous one. I think we won the FA Cup in this one. Uh, Mark Hughes was there at the time. Let me know in the comment section which year I'm thinking of, but it's retro, and it is, this one is um, 2XL. So he sent me, a, the, the retro ones he sent me are 2XL. He was, he was thinking, because obviously if it was an authentic old shirt like this, a 2XL in this size would probably fit me because the shirts back then were probably bigger than they are now, so to speak, if that makes sense. So this would probably fit me, but it doesn't. I've already tried it on. Sadly, I don't think it does. Oh, actually, no, I don't think it does. It's too tight on me. This one and the next one didn't really fit me, but you'll soon find out in a sec. But yeah, look like I said, you got the old badge and that. you got the old Adidas badge here. This one, which one? Which hand am I on? Sorry, um, it look it's the opposite way of what I'm actually looking at. There you go, um, sharp as well, and then the back as well. I'll show you the back. Not that there's much to see on the back, but yeah, uh, you got the classic stripes here. But yeah, it's a nice shirt. It's just a shame it don't fit me. But again, these are the shirts that are going to be on my back wall. When I'm when I start actually when I'm able to get into the spare room, my girlfriend's at the moment. It's just got too much stuff in there, and she's gonna take her time. She's not like me. She doesn't just like do something straight away. She she needs a week or two to prepare herself mentally for it, and it drives me mad because I'm one of these people that get up and go and do stuff. And she likes to like I'm a morning person. She's not. I, we're, we're very similar in some ways, and then very opposite in others. But I love her to bits, bless her. Um, and it's her house as well, so I'm not gonna start dictating to her. But yeah, like I said. Um, we'll see what this feels like on me in a second. So here we are on me. It it, it feels I feel claustrophobic wearing this, so it's not going to be on for long. Um, if you think I'm being too harsh on myself, let me know. I think I'm being very um, realistic. I mean, look at that. Um, I work hard as well. I try at the gym. I try and get it all muscly, but you got to get rid of the fat before you turn into muscle. So it's one of them muscle guts. But anyway, like I said, it's quite tight on me. Um, but it feels it, it's a nice shirt. It has that old. I feel it feels like an actual like old style Adidas shirt as well. The one good thing about this shirt, see, I can wear this if I'm sat down on my computer like this and I'm doing a, a video. I can, you can see this and it doesn't look that bad. It's when you see this that's when it gets bad. So I can wear these. I don't mind suffocating in it for the art, but I can sit here and play my game and stream and do recordings in this and i'll look pretty cool because i'm wearing an old school man united top so it's not the end of the world and like i said worst comes to worst i can either sell it or i can stick it on my back wall when i decide to do all that so they might go they might get put in the wardrobe for a few months but they eventually become a use um and it's and i created a video from it so it's it's not too bad at all is it but yeah it's a nice shirt nice old school shirt and also it's tight on my arms as well because i work hard at the gym so it makes my arms look huge for that <laughs> if it, if you knew me, you would know that I'm the most insecure person you'll ever meet. So me doing that made me cringe. So I can't imagine what it's doing to you right now. But anyway, right. We'll have the next shirt coming up in a second. At this point, you're probably falling asleep. So I apologise. If you, if anything, watch my videos when you're struggling to sleep. I will. I'm not bothered. I'm happy to get the watch hours and the views. If you're happy to basically um, watch the videos to help you get to sleep. But um, anyway, so this is the next Man United shirt. Um, I'm gonna have to be quick with this one because I need to go and get my charger from my laptop. So um, I'll do. I'll put this on in a second. But yeah, 
This is the... I should know this because I wore this when I was a kid. I actually seen, on my 40th birthday party, my mom showed a photo of me when I was about 14, 15 with this shirt on. So I think it was like, I think this one's 97, 98, isn't it? Uh, or is it? It might be. might be 99. Actually, no, it's 99, isn't it? This one's 99. I swear this one's 99. Let me know in the comments section. I'll have a look when I get off here, but I think it's 99, actually. But yeah, logo embroidered on, as usual, sharp on there. Got the lovely trim here, the umbro trim. Oh, this brings back so many happy moments. I remember wearing this when I was on holiday the once, and all I did on holiday was play football on my own, and I would just try and get better and better because I wasn't very good. Um, I, I was good at certain things like crossing and um, long shots to a point because I'd have like what they call a scooper foot, toe poke. We called it toe poke back then. Um, but yeah, pretty good shirt. Right, so I'll be back in a sec with the unveiling. I just need to go and get my charger. Um, I'm genuinely in fear that I won't be able to take this off. It is so tight on me, this one. Um, but yeah, there's the badges again. I'll do a proper, like, like I said, I had to be quick a minute ago. Because my ch I don't know why, because my battery's only been off the charger for about half an hour, and it's already literally dead. So there's something wrong with the battery on this laptop, I think. Oh, and it's a brand new bloody laptop. I might have to send it back, I think. Get a new one. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, it's good on my shoulders, it makes my shoulders look good. So there you go, my shoulders are popping in this, they look nice and tight on it. The collar's lovely, um, but they like, look like, like I said, look at that. I look pregnant in this one, it looks really bad. Um, but yeah, nice shirt, umbro, beautiful, umbro bad, sorry. Um, but yeah, right, back in the set with the newest Man United shirts. So, here's the new away, I think it's away, it might be third shirt, Man United. Look at the pattern on that, that's such a beautiful pattern. My girlfriend loves this shirt. Um, but yeah, there's the logos. I thought it was black when I first looked at it, but it's navy blue. Nice collar. I love a shirt with a collar like this, like a proper collar. It makes me think of old school Cantona when he puts his collar up. Who are, who are, Cantona? Anyway, right, uh, there's that little Red Devils logo on the back. Look at that beautiful pattern there. Uh, embroidered, embroidered, check, tags. Apparently this one's error ready as well. Like so. Um, got a nice light, it's like a different type of blue there. Um, but this is definitely a shirt I'm going to wear quite regularly even if it is a little bit tight on me. Now you can add on, on certain websites, um, I don't think the guy on this video, you could ask him, he'd probably be able to get the badges on there. But there is other websites that you can actually add badges and things like that, like Premier League badges and stuff like that. So that's really good. Um, and then you got that there on the on the cuff. So yeah, right, let's see what this one feels like. Hopefully, it'll be, hopefully I can get this shirt on. So here it is on me. Um, like I said, similar to the Adidas ones I've had so far, um, it fits me okay. It's still tight, but it's not as bad. I think I could probably get away with wearing this one because it's got like it's a bit tight on here, but it's all right. Like I said, or oh, worst comes to worst, I'll just wear them when I'm doing my videos. Um, that's what that's why the first reason why I bought the shirts. It wasn't I wasn't really gonna wear them. Out and about. I've got other shirts I can wear, football shirts I can wear out and about that are authentic. So I get from Mystery Boxes and stuff like that. TK Maxx is another good web, uh, a good place to get shirts from. I managed to get the blue and white Man United shirt when um, a couple of years ago when Cavani was there and stuff like that. Um, 20 quid. Not bad. And it feels nice on me. The pattern's beautiful. Um, and I just like wearing it. So I'm going to wear that tomorrow after I've had a shower. I'm showering. I used to shower every other day. In this heat, I'm showering twice a day. It's just ridiculous how how hot it is. Uh, I love having a cold shower in the, when it's warm weather like this. But yeah, you got the new logo, the the new sponsor, Snapdragon. Um, both embroidered logos here. You got the Adidas. I'm oh, sorry, Adidas there, and then and then Man United there. Oh well, yeah, another nice shirt. And uh, I'm back in the set with the home, the new home shirt. So here's the new home shirt. Uh, as close up of the logos, yep, done the embroidery check, both embroidered. Um, 
this feels like a classic Man United shirt, to, uh, other than obviously the sponsor. I wish we could go back to having Sharp as our sponsor personally, but yeah, it is what it is. We can't always go backwards, unfortunately. Um, you got that there? Like I said, it's about the same as this. The pattern's not the same though. It's just a normal. There's no pattern on this on the home shirt, which is a shame. But it's aero ready, so we'll see how ready it is when it's on me. Right, so these will probably end up being a little bit quicker now because I feel like I'm repeating myself and it's getting boring for me. Never mind getting boring for you lot. So, but yeah, here you go. This is what it looks like on me. Um, similar to the other one, a little bit tight here, but okay here. So, like I said, when I'm doing a video, you'll only see this bit here mostly. Look up to here, back up to here. That won't look so bad. Um, but yeah, I can wear I can wear this when Man United's playing on the telly, and I can just sit and watch it. Um, even though the shirt's a bit tight on me, it might be not ideal to wear this in when it's really hot. But as we get later in the year, this will be fine to wear. And I feel like I've not wasted, not wasted because it's my football club, but not spent a ridiculous amount of money when there's no need for it. So yeah, right next shirt coming up in a second. Right, so here is last season's Man United shirt. Um, Pretty good team viewer, logo, logo, embroidered, embroidered pattern. I think this one has actually have a look at that. It actually has a pattern. I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, it has like a like a Rubik's cube by the looks of it. Uh, this one's aero ready as well. Anything on the back worth showing you? No. Um, got that there. And then that one there. So there you go. Right, let's see what this one, uh, how this one feels like. So yeah, this one, um, like the others, tight on me. I bet you're sick of seeing my belly now, aren't you? I hope you're not eating when you're watching this video. I can only apologise. <laughs> I have a self-deprecating sense of humour, don't worry. Um, but yeah, like I said, embroidered logos, team view on the vent. It feels, here, like I said, it feels nice here and here. Just not here, but we can't always have it our own way. It's a, if, any, if I'm going to give it some criticism, it feels a little bit small on me, lengthwise, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a decent shirt I can wear when I'm watching Man United, or um, I could probably wear my tracky bottoms up to here, so it won't look so bad on my belly. I won't do that. I'm not Simon Cow. But um, this is the last shirt, and then coming up in a second, I've got two... Man United training sets and um, tracksuits, um, which I tried on. They fit me a lot better than the football shirts. The, the trousers fit me perfectly, no issues, but obviously tracksuits, they stretch, so it's a lot easier. The tracksuit jacket is a little bit tight, but not as tight as the football shirts, so it feels all right. And I probably won't even wear the tracksuit tops often, uh, the jackets. It'll probably just be the trousers, but I just thought I'd get both in case I fancied wearing one. So, right, I'll see you in a second with the tracksuits. Right, so here's the first tracksuit. It's the black one. Um, you got the top. This jacket, this top actually um, is tighter than what I remembered when I tried on originally. Maybe I've, maybe I've uh, eaten something I shouldn't have and extended my belly a bit too much. But I'd still wear this to the gym, even though it's a bit tight. Um, I hope there's no camel toeage going on here, by the way. Um, I apologise if you can see a bit too much. Holes there. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be sexy. I promise. I am not sexy at all. But yeah, the track the tracksuit bottoms, a bit tight, but they fit me okay, and I can wear them. And the one thing I like about my shorts and my tracksuit bottoms is to have pockets with zips on, or just pockets in general, because I've got shorts um, that don't have. Sorry, that's a message I had. Um, that don't have zips or pockets, which is really annoying. But anyway. This is a pretty good one though, but it looks a bit like you got, I'll just show you a close up of that. Uh, is that one? That one's, yeah, embroidered on. Embroidered on, and then obviously this stuck on. Uh, nice turquoise trim there. I don't think there's anything on the back. No. But yeah, pretty nice. And then the leggings here, you've got, I'm trying to do it at the side angle so you can't see anything too bad. But yeah, you've got the logo here on the leggings here. Um, yeah, they're a bit tight on me, but they fit. And I feel comfortable in the trousers enough. Um, granted, if I walk for about an hour like I do every day, 
these might feel like the worst thing ever to wear because they'll be too tight on me. But right, so coming up next, I will put on the red one. Right, so the last tracksuit and the last item of the video. Thank you if you've persevered and watched all the way these all these all the way through. I really appreciate it. It really helps if you watch the video to the end. Um, but yeah, this is the beautiful. I really like this. Sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath. Um, it's too hot today to be doing this. But yeah, um, this is the beautiful red one with the orangey inside here. You've got the orange stripes as well, like so. I'm really rubbish at this, aren't I? Um, and then obviously you've got the embroidered logos here. Stuck on there. Nice uh, thing like that. And then, like I said, it doesn't. it's not very flattering um if you're a big guy but if you're like an xl get the 2xl get the 3xl or whatever and these will fit really nicely on you and eventually these will fit nice on me because i'm determined to lose enough weight so they do so if anything this is giving me motivation and also sorry i just noticed you can see my boob. um if anything wearing these because they're so tight on me um i'll end up sweating buckets it'll be like putting a bin liner on you so it'll work out in my favor wearing these but yeah like i said i'll wear these tomorrow and I'll go for a walk, uh, do a 90 minute walk in these and I'll lose about two stone in itself. Um, but yeah, that's about it really now. So thank you for um, watching. Like I said, if you go on, what was it again? I've got the link here somewhere. Oh, I got rid of it, didn't I? No, I haven't. Retro football shirts worldwide. Um, the worldwide is in brackets, but I don't think it matters. If you just type in retro shirts worldwide, it will come up um, and you'll see loads of posts of people that I bought and he comments himself so his name is in chinese i think he's the only guy on that group that is chinese that's got the his name in chinese um contact him and ask him um for links he'll he'll probably talk to you on facebook but he'll also ask you for your number as well so we can keep you updated on whatsapp because i think they just prefer to use whatsapp for things like that um i paid through paypal now when you pay through paypal make sure you do it the proper way don't do friends and family um make sure you get the exchange right as well because he'll say it'll cost this much but you but you've got to make sure that it, it's it, he'll he'll explain to you but but like i said it works out about 10 quid these these tracksuit training sets cost 15 quid each they would cost about 150 quid or something stupid i think the trousers would have been 70 this would have been about 70 so it cost me 15 quid yeah it's tight on me but don't let the sizing that I'm wearing reflect on the quality. The quality is really good. I would not know this was a, a fake tracksuit. So bear that in mind. You know, if you're not as big as me, you'll be laughing. And they have, if you're, if you, if you're like a large, um, get the 2XL. He has, I think they have every search. They have so many shirts in 2XL, up to 2XL. You, you, could, you could buy like about 50 shirts and like, I mean, granted it costs you 500 quid, but it would work out a lot cheaper than if you bought 50 shirts brand new, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. So, yeah, it's definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to go because I'm literally going to die if I don't get this off me in a second. Thank you for watching. I will be doing more coming up soon enough. Um, there might be, it might be a few weeks now before I do another one. I might do a, new, a mystery shirt one next week if I order some at the start of next week. I'll probably get them by the end of next week. So, I'll, then next week I'll probably do another video. Uh, for mystery shirts which will fit me a lot better so well i hope so anyway the the retro shirts won't but i won't be making that mistake of buying a retro shirt again anyway thank you for watching feel free to subscribe and i'll speak to you soon all the best bye